Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video, we are going to discuss the revised syllabus 2022 of class 9, Economics. And yes, we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter, Sectors of Indian Economy. So this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you want all the other notes of the social book like history, geography, all science of class 9, you can visit the playlist link which is there in the description box and find all the videos with the notes over there. The link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's move ahead but before that if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Let's get started with our first main. We have very first main, fill in the blanks with suitable words. First one, main occupation of India is dash, and it is agriculture. Next, health and education come under dash sector, and it is tertiary. Next, the total geographical land of Karnataka is dash, and it is 191,791 square kilometers. Next, SBM was established by Dash in 1913. Answer is Sir M. Visveshwaraya. Next, manufacturing activities belong to Dash. Answer is secondary sector. Next. The coastline area of Karnataka is dash. Answer is 320 kilometers. Next, to expand higher education, Karnataka government has established dash commission. Answer is Karnataka Knowledge Commission. Next, new economic policy was introduced in dash. Answer is 1991. Now let's move to second main. Answer the following questions. First question is define primary sector. Answer the primary sector includes agriculture and its allied activities like sericulture, horticulture, animal husbandry, poultry, fishery, floriculture etc. which provide raw materials to agro-based industries. Next question. State the different sectors of Indian economy. Answer. The different sectors of Indian economy are primary sector. The primary sector includes agriculture and its allied activities like sericulture, horticulture, animal husbandry, poultry, fishery, floriculture, etc., which provide raw materials to agro-based industries. Secondary sector. Secondary sector is also called manufacturing sector, where raw materials are converted into finished products. Tertiary sector. Tertiary sector is also called service sector. At present, the world economy is dominated by service sector, banking, insurance, trade, transport and communication, health, education and training, etc. are important components of service sector. Next question. Explain the importance of industrial sector. Answer. The importance of industrial sector are it brings higher income to the nation, it provides employment to the people, standard of living of the people will be increased, it helps to modernize the agriculture as it provides tractors, machineries, fertilizers, etc. Reduces the pressure of population on agriculture. Many hill migrate to city, cities and town. It helps to earn more foreign exchange. 
Industrial regions also develop a centers of trade, education, transport, banking, etc. Next question. Which places of India are called as cradle of banking? Answer. Dakshina Kannada and Udupi are called as the cradles of banking industry. Next question. What is education according to Gandhiji? Answer. According to Gandhiji, education brings all-round development in personality of the child. Next question. State the group of industries. The group of industries are public sector industries and private sector industries. Public sector industries are under the ownership of government, whereas private sector industries are under the ownership of private people. Next question. List the important irrigation projects of Karnataka. Answer. The important irrigation projects of Karnataka are Ghata Prabha, Mala Prabha, Narayanapura, Alamati Dam, Tungabhadra, Hemavati, Harangi, Krishna Raja Sagar, etc. Next question. What is health according to WHO? Answer. According to World Health Organization, that is WHO, health refers to the person who is free from physical, mental, social, and intellectual disorders. So with these question answers and fill in the blanks, we come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope these answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video helpful and if you like it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.